What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. I got some Mongolian beef for you. In your Instant Pot, I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is turn our Instant Pot on. Set your Instant Pot to the saute setting. So now what I like to do is before I put any oil in the Instant Pot, I like to turn my Instant Pot on and heat it up first and then put the oil and that helps with stickage. So what I have here is two pounds of meat. The meat you want to use would be say flank steak or top round or you sometimes can get stir fry meat that is already sliced for you and what you what you're looking for is pieces of meat about a quarter of an inch thick just like that. And what I've done here also is I've salt and peppered all of your meat. So I'm just adding a little bit of oil. We're nice and heated up now. Go ahead and set your oil to the side because you're probably going to need more as we go. Now we're just going to let this oil heat up just for a minute or so and then we'll start browning this meat off. So our oil is heated up now or nice and shimmery I'd say. We'll go ahead and start adding in our meat. Now you could certainly add this, fry this meat off on the stove and you could also not skip this step completely and just use the raw meat without browning but I find it gives it a nice color and I got it, I think it gives it a nice flavor too. So you'll do this in batches. So we'll get back with you when all of our meat is browned up. Okay so as you can see we have all of our meat uh, nice and browned up. So we've removed it all. all. So now we're going to deglaze this pan a little bit. So I'm going to go in with some of this beef broth. Now, I wanna tell you, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can go get a printable version of this recipe and all the amounts and everything will be in there. All right, so I'm just heating my Instant Pot back up a little bit because I did cut it off to clear some of this steam, but we're just gonna deglaze with uh, this beef broth and then we'll add the rest. All right, so we're nice and deglazed now. That was. I, uh, I didn't say it, but that was one cup of beef broth. Now we're going to go in with a half a cup of soy sauce. One tablespoon of brown sugar. About a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. About three to four cloves of minced garlic. And as you can see, it's all lumped up that uh, like that. I know it doesn't look like garlic, but trust me, it is. What happens is I buy ga garlic in bulk, and then I mince it up all in one day, and then I freeze it. So that's why it looks like that. All right, so next, <clears throat> we're going to throw in a little bit of red pepper flakes, as much as you want. Let's, I like it spicy. Let's go there. That's good. Okay, now we'll add back in our all of our meat. with the juices. Now obviously the liquid is not going to cover all this meat but we're just going to push that down in there for now. All right so now what we got uh, we're about ready to add in some of these vegetables here and I have about four carrots and I've chopped them up uh, pretty chunky because we want it to have a little bit of uh, you know meat in here and I've got one bell pepper uh, you don't have to use green, but I feel like green is going to give it a little pop of color, seeing as how we have those yellow, uh, I guess that's yellow or white carrots and the orange carrots. Alright, now let's just give it a stir here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, now what I'm about to do, and this, this step right here is optional, okay? So if you don't have what I'm about ready to put in here now, you can go ahead and skip that step and move past it. But I have a little trivet here, okay? And I'll leave a link on Amazon where you can pick one of these up if you want to, okay? So I'm putting that trivet in there like that. Then I have here some rice, and it's equal parts rice to water. So if you got one cup of rice, you put one cup of water. I have salt in there and I have about three pats of butter. I'm going to put the lid on this just like that. So basically we're going to be doing a double dealio here. We're going to not only be cooking the Mongolian beef, we're also going to be doing the rice at the same time. 
All right, we're gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna set this to pressure cook on your Instant Pot. We're gonna pressure this for 12 minutes on high. All right, 12 minutes on high. Once it comes to pressure and everything, we're going to do a quick release. Now, I know somebody out there right now is freaking out because they're saying, oh, you should never quick release meat and it toughens your meat and all that. I say this every time, guys, listen. It's not, it doesn't hurt anything to quick release your meat, okay? If you ever quick release your meat and your meat is tough, then that just means you didn't pressure it for long enough, all right? Now that we got that covered, and another reason why we're quick, quick releasing as well is because we don't want those carrots and everything to turn to mush, okay? So this is going to save that step. Now, once this uh, comes to pressure and we quick, quick release it, we got to do one more step or a couple of more steps. I'm going to show you that. So uh, we'll get back with you. All right, so we're about ready to quick release this. I'm just going to use my handy dandy spurtle here to knock some of this steam off. All right, now our pressure is released. We got our rice out of here. Well, let me show you what it looks like first. All right. Get that out of there. So now that we've removed that rice, let's set our Instant Pot back to the saute setting. All right, right here I have a cornstarch slurry. I have three tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. We'll just pour that in there real quick. And I have a small head of broccoli that I've chopped up. Okay, so we're just gonna get this a stir. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna bring this uh, mixture up to a, where it starts bubbling like that. And we're just thicken our sauce a little bit. And that's it. And I'll show, it, show you what it'll look like. It'll probably take maybe about three or four minutes to thicken this up. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, that's about it. So let's just serve us some real quick. I got my rice here in this bowl. Let's just uh, give it a little quick taste test here. And I'm gonna throw some uh, sesame seeds on top. Like that. All right, let's give this a taste. All right, here we go. Uh, obviously, I already got you a close up here, but let's, uh, let's get some of this. Uh, let's taste the beef first. Perfect. Mm. Let me show you this. Mm. Wow, that's delicious. See the rice? Perfectly cooked. Every time. Alright guys, Mongolian beef in your Instant Pot. Do it.